हाय गाइस इन वेलकम टू अनदर व्लॉग Hi guys and welcome to another vlog. I'm here at the Buddha International Circuit and you can see what's next to me. Yes, these are Audis. We have a lot of RS5s, S5s as well as the RS Q8, but there is no RS7. <laughs> Cries and tears. Anyways, today it's about a track day. Along with this, we also going to get a slalom experience with the electric Audis, the e-tron Sportback as well as the e-tron GT. Uh, no, the e-tron, the SUV. Anyways, This is the car I'm going to be driving. I'm not going to be driving the RS Q8 because last time we were driving it. So this time we focus on this car, which is the RS5. Along with that, we also going to drive the S5. Three, four laps, I guess, per car. You don't even realize when this car starts because obviously it's electric. There, the steering is moving down. The Audi chime comes. So first up, we are going to get into the electric Audis, which happen to be the e-tron. I have taken the e-tron port back because this is not a car I've driven before, but it's the same as the regular e-tron 55. First, we're going to go for the slalom test. After that, we will go for track laps. All right, we are all set to go, and now off we go. Instant torque. Yeah, the thing is, the car has a lot of body roll to contend with, and every time I'm turning it, I can feel the roll, and off we go. My goodness, the instant torque rush is absolutely maddening here. <laughs> okay, it becomes a little narrow, and then I can't really push it much hard because I know the car tends to lose a lot because this is also very tight section here. And after turn around, coming similar way there, you can see the massive body roll, and then obviously the tires are also screeching here, turning around like that. Uh, you can hear the sound. Come on, full power. And that. Is one fast freaking lap. Oh, we'll go again. I didn't talk about the specs of the car at all, but next time we are going to be much faster. Hey, bye, 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 bye. That guy just reversed back instead of going ahead. He was in reverse. Oh my god, <laughs> that was scary. And off we go. Come on, I have to do faster. So what do we have? 95 kilowatt hour battery pack in this car. Yeah, and it's just too much of. Holy foley, the way it goes. is absolutely crazy i can go much faster i just need to have some trust in myself and the car i do have trust oh my god did i just hit the music yeah i did hit the music so that's a bit of a problem shut up music oh my god the yeah the thing is it makes no sense for me to even try shutting the music ah oh, come on. okay now i'm going flat out forget everything yeah baby oh and off we go Oh, strong brakes, really nice. But this car is producing around 400 horsepower, around 660 newton meters of torque, 95 kilowatt hour battery pack. I have done a very fast time today because you know what? The fastest time yesterday was 44 seconds. My first lap was 42 seconds. Second lap, I think, should have been faster. I hit this button, so I don't like how the yeah, button. Last time was 40 seconds. 40 seconds! Woo! So basically, the fastest time I've set here right now. People have said 44 seconds yesterday. People who are doing right now were doing around 48, 50 seconds. I've been like dramatically fast, and I think I can go faster by practicing a bit because I was not very confident with the car around the corners. It's just like too much of body roll. Just uh, couldn't manage, not be able to put that power down. Obviously, it's Quattro. Couldn't put that power down. The range of this car is 480 kilometers on a full charge, which is the claim range in the real world. Somewhere around, uh, oh shit, man! Should have gone half a second faster to come in the 39th. But anyways, this car has a real world range of 350 kilometers, which is quite good. And the on-road price is around 1.2 crore, just like five lakhs more than the you know non-sportback version of the e-tron. It's a very nice car, nice, comfortable, smooth, and performance is also good. And this slalom, well, I had fun today, but I could have done so much better. I feel I should get into racing now, <laughs> which means it's time to show our skills on the race track. Our skills, मतलब मेरे skills और आपके किस skills ना दोनों मिला के करेंगे ना कुछ ना कुछ कमाल. Well, it was quite a nice experience driving such a heavy car. Okay, this is not the car I drove. That is the car I drove, which you can see is moving right now. But yeah, these cars are very, very, very heavy. And uh, in spite of the heavy weight, you don't feel all that weight. But not the real apt car to drive through slalom course, of course. Instead, maybe probably we should drive an RS5, which will be way too fast for this. So it's better to drive it on the track, of course. All right, 
it is time to go which means we get into rs mode here right now and coming to the start finish line and i am going to pump the throttle completely okay here we go and off we go crazy it almost oh my god look at the oversteer unbelievable the car is oversteering traction control light is blinking like mad let's see what is the speed we can carry right now in fact this is a very crucial corner the better the speed you take the higher you can go in terms of top speed and now bam come on That's 256. Hard onto the brakes. Oh my God, the brakes are absolutely amazing. Next level. So this RS5 is. Oh my God, this car is oversteering. The kind of tire screeches is unbelievable. So this car is actually powered by 2.9 liter twin turbo V6 engine, which has been made in collaboration with Porsche. Oh my God, the brakes are really crazy. Sheds power like mad, and. The steering is also good, but not the most feelsome as such. But the way it goes, <laughs> I don't have to do anything. I've left. M oh, oh, oh my God, this car! I had to leave more of a space because I'm already catching the car ahead. So what you're going to do? We're going to uh, like slow down here, cool down a bit. Let's maintain some distance and then back up in the throttle again and go fast. Before that, let me tell you that this Audi RS5 is priced at around 1.3 crores on road Mumbai, and uh, it is quarter of course. It can channel up to 60% power. Usually, it channels 60% power to the rear wheels. And it can channel up to 85% power to the rear wheels. Next lap, we'll go flat out from here. Let me just cool down the brakes and all. Okay, listen to the sound. Manual mode, ah. Huh? Okay, check this out. Look at the composure. Here you go, flip once, flip. Ah, I can't believe an Audi is being so oversteery. So it likes to go a bit that. Only thing is the some vibrations on the brake pedal, which is a bit of a surprise. So we are just going to calm down a bit. Okay, it doesn't have adaptive suspension. It doesn't have like. Uh, suspension seems a little basic for a car of this character. Let's slow down, slow down, slow down, downshift, downshift. In fact, I will get into sport itself for the gearbox, and so that I don't have to make shifts. Here yeah, it's saying deceleration. We're going to carry good speed when we start the next lap of the boot circuit, and here we go. Ideally, you need to brake with these two cones I hear, but I will get later on the brakes because I can. I have that much trust in the car and the braking system as well. It oversteers under braking. It doesn't oversteer under acceleration and throttle because obviously the quarter system is so good. The brakes are really very nice here. Yeah, in fact, I can use the brakes to actually initiate a slide and yeah, little bit of understeer. This car could be faster on the straights. Oh my god 2.9 liters did i tell you 450 horsepower and 600 newton meters of torque top speed limit to 250 km per hour 0 to 100 km per hour in 3.9 seconds but i've done a faster time i've gone from 0 to 100 km per hour in this car in 3.6 seconds and there to 50 km per hour so this is not limited maybe for the track oh my god it sheds brakes like mad and then because under braking uh, it oh ah, ha, ha. the wind steps the rear out Unbelievable! I catch these people ahead so fast now because I'm super fast through the corners, and that was also breaking very aggressively because his lights are blinking. But I am having so much fun today. Oh, 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 oh! I love this. And come on, guys, be faster through this. Be Sebastian Vettel, who is being fastest on this track. Oh, oh, oh! Insane. <laughs> Sounds like something is getting broken. That is the level of performance. The tires under huge pressure. This car is unbelievable fun. Awesome, awesome, awesome madness. Okay, this is a very tricky corner because you have to see your line and then hold it through and then push hard. That RS5 is actually going quite slow to be honest, the one ahead of me. But hey, still a lot of fun. Look at the way you have to use as much of the track as possible. That is the only way to be able to go faster in this car. Ah. Uh, oh, that guy has lost his line. 
it's easy flip flap use as much as the track don't break in such places yeah he is breaking in the wrong places and that's the reason why his car is slower anyways car sounds really very nice but the amount of uh, performance in a straight line is unbelievable it's able to corner as well that's the best thing about this car so much fun unbelievable nice <laughs> eight speed uh, gearbox of course we have here and look the lines are only wrong dude you take yeah and now it's time for a cool down lap see he's on full throttle i'm on full throttle as well and that's done and dusted that's how you overtake hard on to the brakes <laughs> amazing this was so much fun so now i think it's time for cool down so we'll slow down a bit but i don't know why everyone is slowing down but never mind take the right line i always turn on the audio system yeah when you take the right line that is how you are going to okay here yeah nobody gives a fluff everybody is flying on the track people who slow down they lose out and that's the reason i'm like also let it be let's just go in fact it goes from 0 to 200 km per hour in just around 12 13 seconds or something of that sort i remember having time date but i love the way this car performs i feel uh, near limit now kind of loses it because firstly under braking now under heavy braking there's a lot of oversteer <laughs> it's just going everywhere and you have to really control the steering the steering is actually decent in terms of weighing up and all so it does that and more this is supposed to be a cool down lap i don't see how it's a cool down in any way because i am just flying so basically they told me not to apply brakes on the cool down laps so i'm not doing that this speed alarm on a race track is very frustrating it's very 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 frustrating indeed <laughs> and uh, sound is actually quite good huh this is a car which competes with you know now the E63 AMG you know not really it's competing with the C63 AMG actually and that is going four cylinder so the earlier RS5 was actually an eight cylinder a V8 okay and that one was naturally aspirated so they downsized gave it twin turbos and along with that torque also went up because obviously turbocharged engines make better torque as well so thing is that low end performance isn't that great but mid range is fantastic and the top end is absolutely frantic once it goes past 4000 rpm it becomes a different machine altogether and red line like crazy to 7000 rpm that mad rush of power and thrust Oh my god 7000 rpm feels maddening in this car but before you blink before you think this car is already upshifted to the next gear so gearbox is very fast in terms of shift at slow speeds it definitely fumbles but at higher speeds it's phenomenal it's just phenomenal in the way it's also also aggressive enough to give you a downshift when you need it the problem is after driving this fantastic car it's time to actually jump into the S5 which is um, not really a full blown sports car but yeah it is a balance of comfort and that ride quality is fine actually Clear overall Audi just managed to get the good balance of ride and handling in its cars so no complaint on that front you know body roll is super well contained like supremely well contained body roll in this car which is a big boon so we are going to get into the pit lane nice two flying laps i think i drove the fastest of everyone around i'm not boasting or you know uh, giving myself an applause but i think i got everybody over to almost everyone and even though i backed off so much i was just catching people at such a rapid pace now they became super easy for me to catch up as well anyways they're stopping here i believe uh, there's something on the radio they might want to say i have actually uh, where is the radio it's, the radio has gone missing because it's fallen somewhere yeah doesn't matter okay they were waiting for everybody to come in anyways ha huh, let's jump into the s5 honestly it's a car which does duties of taking people around on the weekday and also going mad on the weekend very well great balance lovely little car i like the rs5 a lot and i just feel sad that all these cars will go once electric comes in by the way this is like the baby version of the rs7 if i may and we're just going to stop here uh, i think this car really needs to cool down because we have really used each and every one of those 450 horsepower So basically, this thing is this car is supposed to go last. So they're telling me to stop because the other cars will go and overtake. I overtook those people because they were too slow. Anyways, let me just stop here and let's just turn off the car. I can actually smell a lot of rubber burning right now. <laughs> I'm just hoping the tires have not come out because it felt like that. You know, when I was pushing it so hard, I felt like the tire nikal jayega. <laughs> the level of thrust and fun, but unbelievably nice. Love this car. Honestly, I love it. All right, before we go, let me remove this sticker from here. Why is this sticker there? 
can't see the screen properly ha huh? anyways let's get into view thingy okay let's just change the view from here what do we do lap times <laughs> not that it matters and uh, it doesn't matter actually the two rsqs is overtake the two s5 and follow me oh so rsqs are also there we have been told to overtake which is actually a good thing this is a bit complex this uh, i'm trying to figure this out all right perfect so now as we head out of the pit lane is like i said earlier make, make sure you have a distance of at least 100 to Okay dude which means i have to shut the radio sorry and now we are in dynamic mode and off we go immediately i can feel things are a bit softer here naturally it has to be because this is the s5 which you are driving and even though it has more displacement than the rs5 performance is less because obviously that engine is next level that 2.9 liter unit this is having a single turbo the other one has twin turbos of course this is actually a 3 liter v6 engine single turbo twin scroll turbo charging listen to the car now Thirty kilometers per hour. Aha uh ha! -huh. So basically, this radio has come from where? I need to keep it inside. Anyways, the thing is, ah, it's fallen. Now it's going to start making noise. The radio, the the, the walkie. Anyways, I did two fifty plus on that straight. Here we did two thirty. Not bad. Twenty kilometers difference for thirty lakh rupees. Anyways, this car is producing three hundred fifty four horsepower, and the torque output is. Oh ho oh, ho! Oh, look at the lean. I can feel so much more roll here. Yeah, definitely. I can feel more roll here. So this thing is producing 500 newton meters of torque, 354 horsepower. Steering has no feel as such. I mean, it's not that dynamic, especially not for a race track. But yeah. Oh my God! It has got crazy understeer on the lead. I am going like bonkers because after driving the RS5, I'm like, yes, I can go faster. But no, not in this car. This car is more for daily usability and occasional fast driving because it doesn't like to be pushed. the way i'm pushing it right now and when i do it you can feel yeah goes like that <laughs> you know what will be the biggest shame today if i'm going to oversteer but i don't think that's going to happen because it's more understeer territory i think let's have some fun can't believe that the rs q8 is here only and there is an s5 which is trying to overtake it faisal khan slow down be the smart guy here he's <laughs> they these people are all over the place so we're just going to cool down a bit okay get our tires into temperature because it's cold now so tires are not under temperature and now it's time to go strat 7 faisal strat 7 all right and here we go What is the probability of me reducing this distance with the most inferior car right now? I think there's a high probability considering I don't break up the cones I break much later having that trust and faith in the car that it will stop and now now we should break hard onto the brakes and if I turn while breaking now oh my god <laughs> I'm going to ruin the tires today I think so because the car is going crazy or rather I'm going crazy in the car yeah so I always like the S5 Oh, but the thing is that the M340 is faster this takes around come on put that power down it that delay is crazy it takes 4.8 seconds to go from 0 to 100 km per hour and uh, this is like almost a second slower when compared to the RS5 so quite a bit of difference in terms of outright performance between both these cars but obviously more power there and all but still it's quite fun it's not as loud it's more comfortable in terms of suspension also it's 230 without any effort hard onto the brakes Yeah, it manages that. And, uh, oh, oh, oh! Under steer is so much that it actually rattles the whole body of the vehicle. But uh, you know what? The good thing is, there's no lesser version of this car. So if you buy an S5, you have bought an S5. You're not like, oh, you know, there's an A5 available. It was, but discontinued, of course. Meanwhile, with the three series, of course, we've got so many other models also, including long wheelbase versions as well. I love this corner. It makes me feel like a Formula One driver. I I'm loving the track day today. I don't know why. I think I should start doing more track days. It's so much fun. And that's the technical corner. Someone in our convoy is really slow. I don't know where the S5 is getting into that RS Q8. <laughs> that's not the right place to overtake. But okay, come on. Power, 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 power. Mm. Uh, 
uh, possibility and probability of us catching people very high because we are right on the tail of the S5 which means that I'm going to plant an overtake very easy you know why because these people are breaking and I'll get on the throttle much earlier yeah but all the space has been occupied only oh my god is he going to dive will he probably yes yeah he is going for it not the right corner to go and that was one fantastic lap he's gone off a bit as well oh yeah fun when even drive a slow car as well you can have a lot of fun let's overtake this rs q8 because i don't know why this rs q8 is super slow and in spite of having the most power slipstream i'm one second behind him so drs button open this one will break much earlier and there they are on the brakes and i will be on the brake much later but we are not going to plant and overtake his brakes so hard now the lights are blinking actually so guys a lot of fun driving on the track whether it is the s5 or the rs5 i know i wanted to drive the rs7 i'll tell you a very soft story of mine last year i already did a similar event i told him i want to drive the rs queta drove that particular car which you're seeing right in front of us okay i did not drive the rs7 even though it was there because i was like ha chala lenge aaram se kya badi baat hai let's drive a sports suv on the track to see how does it perform so <laughs> popat ho gaya because this track day audi gave me this s5 they're like you already drove na last time uh, the uh, rs queta so why do you want to drive it now we'll give you the other car so that's that and if i driven the rs7 last time I could have driven the RS Q8 here because I was not really looking forward to drive this particular car here, the S5. But anyways, I'm not complaining as such. Yeah, gearbox is not the fastest in terms of shifts. It's decently quick. It's not very fast as such. Uh, it's not aggressive. In fact, this car is not aggressive only. It's not really a car for the track. The RS5 is, but I find that the RS5 also has some amount of weight. So it's like almost 1800 kg. So that weight balance could be better as well. And I'm so happy. 10:30. I'm done with everything today. All the shoot is almost done. Uh, just that a uh, little. bit is left of going in an electric car <laughs> yeah i know not eating anything this morning so we'll do that as well and here do you not know, apply brakes on this cool down lap so that the brakes are able to cool down now just imagine if you're driving an electric car on this track you'll be very fast in a straight and then you'll topple on the around the corners because of all that weight see i'm not complaining about the weight i know weight will reduce with time and batteries will become lighter and all that stuff what i feel honestly is that the oral experience of driving a car like this on the track is what really makes this so much fun the s5 has squad exhaust makes me think that it's going much faster than it should be <laughs> yeah because it was trying to overtake an rsq8 right? anyways enough of this bitter batter time to uh end this track experience and uh, i think uh, you guys need to leave it in a comment section below should i do more such track days probably not expensive cars maybe daily cars i should get maybe a swift or uh, honda city or something of that sort and go absolutely bonkers okay listen okay listen guys listen The ideal line here is you need to hit this uh, chicken on the left and then go flat out through this chicken hitting it like that and that's the fastest way around I think yahan pe hero ne event kiya tha unki badging nahi nikali unhone aisa chipka hai us pe wo sticker upar se laga diya how funny na because people like me drive so hard na they have to get extra set of tires and i'm sure i have ruined the tires the most today but anyways it was fun okay this is an audi union grand prix racing car it's known as a type c it is 6000 cc 16 cylinders and 520 horsepower with a top speed of 340 km per hour insane right but this seems to be a dummy because this is not real of course and i think this opens for the engine there you can see that is the handbrake that is a gear lever steering wheel and there are i mean instrument cluster but it doesn't seem to work because दमी लग रहा है वो बहुत ही चिंटू मिंटू सो स्मॉल आई डोंट नो हाउ पीपल हैड द गट्स ऑफ ड्राइविंग दिस एट 300 किलोमीटर पर आवर प्लस विद लाइक स्टक टू द ग्राउंड ऑफ कोर्स देयर यू कैन सी द टायर्स लुक रियली नाइस एंड क्वर्की एज वेल फैंटास्टिक व्हेनेवर अ रेस हैपेंस दे हैव टू वेव अ चेकर्ड फ्लैग सो आई एम स्टैंडिंग इन दैट वेरी स्पॉट इस डब्बे में बैठ के यू वेव द फ्लैग लाइक दिस तो यहां से एक अच्छा शॉट लूंगा मैं पास बाय का गाड़ियों का
that is the safety car that is the rescue car which needs the rescue itself and those are rs5s inside because i think they're changing the tires of the car right now because obviously hard laps means the tires go for a complete toss and tires are being changed pressure is being checked and all that is being done right now fresh tires yes that's nice so that's it for this particular event it was fun i really like the rs5 and just hoping to drive all possible performance cars before electric comes into the picture in full flow and hopefully that never happens by the way the cars going electric completely not <laughs> driving other powerful performance cars with ice engines of course thank you so much for watching if you like this video make sure to give the thumbs up that's a like button and also subscribe to the channel it's become sunny mera to pura shoot ho gaya i'm so happy bye bye well the vlog might be over but there's still a few things i need to talk because audi gave me this beautiful bag don't worry i've removed all the contents from it one is this amazing thing which is a poster they took a picture of me in front of the audi rs e-tron gt and nice picture hopefully i'll get the car as well soon enough and then this is of course the e-tron sport bag so this is the car i drove and the color is not that impressive to me personally i would prefer red but रेड गाड़ी चलाने के लिए थी बट स्किल मॉडल में नहीं मैंने सबके बैक चेक कर लिया एंड देव गिवन दिस बॉक्स ऑफ क्रेजी चॉकलेट्स आई मीन लुक एट द अमाउंट ऑफ कैलोरीज यू कैन सी राइट हेयर बट थैंक यू सो मच एंड दैट इज द एंड ऑफ द ब्लॉग